Hello and welcome. I'm Kara from the Hooting Pirate, and this is my oh my god, where do I start? Planner series. The planner community is so 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 overwhelming. There are so many planners to choose from. There's not only planners, there's like the inserts, the stickers, the clips. There's just so 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 much that people who are new to the planner world are really overwhelmed and really don't know where to start. So this is what this series is. It's um, here on YouTube and it's also on my blog so all the links will be below the video. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about binding and the different sorts of um, planners that are out there. So we're going to start with the ring the ring planners. These are um, these are some of mine that I have. I don't use all these. These <laughs> I bought these to help with teaching. So these are um, just sort of the basics the basic things that most of the ones that you're going to find are going to be similar to this. So this is this is the one that I, of these that I actually use. It's my I use it as my wallet. It's a Gilio. And you can see that not only does it have a wallet, but it has um, um, the ring system. So the first this is the first section is the classic ring binder system. And most of them will have the six. And if you notice here, the six are all in a row because it's so tiny. This is a pocket size, but here you can see that the rings are in sets of threes, and that's pretty, pretty common. So I'm just gonna show you the insides of these really quickly. Um, and this one is a Doki book, it's the same as the other one. This is a Carpe Diem, and it's a bit bigger. It's an A5, so it's actually quite, quite large when you get it open. And again, it has the three and three. And this last one is, I actually do use this one, but it's not for planning. It's actually a memory keeper. And this is my Heidi Swap memory um, planner, and it has four. So it's two sets of two. So let's go into, oops, things falling out. Let's go into the pros and cons of, um, I'll just leave one open so you can see, uh, of a ring, a ring bound planner. So this is, this is just done, but the planner is actually empty. I don't use this. I'm just going to use it as an example. So the biggest pro with this is that you can open these rings. Oh, those ones are tough. This is a new planner. <laughs> is that you can take stuff out, move it around. Okay, I don't like this brand new day at the beginning, for example. So I can easily take this out and let's put it in March. And we can just open it up and put it in there. I mean, that doesn't look really good there, but you, you get the idea. You can move pages around really, really easily. Okay, so next pro is... I'm going to actually put it back because I like it in the front. Um, the next pro is if you don't like the inserts that come with the planner, and inserts are like the pages that you actually write on, if you don't like these inserts, then you could change them out. You can buy your own, you can print your own, you can do whatever, and you can change them out. You can also change um, the, the dashboards out. You make your own dashboards. You can change the dividers. Anything that's in these rings, you can change. Um, yeah, because my Giglio, it came with these really thin, um, like, tissue paper thin pages, and they were yellow, and they were just cluttered, because it's in Belgium, and in Europe there's a lot of different languages, so they had, I think, four, four different languages, so it was just really cluttered, so I actually printed these off and made them myself. So, that's what you can do, and also, let's say it's really fat and really full, and you you're having trouble closing it, for example. What you could do is say, okay, after June, I'm going to take all these pages out and make it thinner. Or if you want to say March is a busy month and you want to stick stuff in, or just anything, you want to stick any extra pages in, any extra files just because they're pretty, you can do that really easily because the, the ring's just open. You can add stuff. All right, let's go to the cons. Um, it does not fold back. Well, it does, but not very easily. It's very bumpy. It bumps up. It does not fold back on itself easily. Depending on the planner, this one has sort of a rounded spine, but like this one, for example, has like a square spine. I'm going to do this really gently. Oh, see, I can't even bend that without breaking the, breaking the, um, the actual book part, like the, I don't even know what that's called. It's, it would bend the cardboard or whatever's inside. So it does not fold back on itself. Next one is you're limited to the ring size. Okay, these ring sizes, so you can see they're pretty big. You can get a lot of stuff in there. Oh my little, everything keeps flying out. 
Um, you can get a lot of stuff in those rings, but and these ones are actually pretty hefty. But if you've got a little planner like this, like it's you're not I'm not going to be able to put much more in this planner than what's already in there. So you're limited by the size of the diameter of the rings. Um, also, the rings in some planners tend to get banged up. You can have end up with a like oh, my finger behind it. Can you see the space between? Sometimes they don't close properly, or they get bent and they'll end up closing like my fingers. My phone. There, you, um, they don't close properly, or they're bent, or um, there's none in that one, but this one has those mechanisms to open it. Like that one's stiff, for example. Sometimes these will break. One thing that I want to tell you is the Gilio, but it, I mean, that happens when you have, when you invest in a, in a high-priced planner, is you can, these rings come out, and you can order new rings for the Gilio, but and not in a lot of other planners. Um, and some planners, what if I have one? Maybe this one. Some planners, when you open them up, yeah, this one, it does not lie flat. Like, if you have it open, but you can see, like, I can still hold my hand all through it. So, I mean, you can work the leather and get it to lie flat, but for the most part, if that, if that bothers you in the littlest bit, it's gonna, it could be a, um, it could be a negative. So, you could work it and it will lie flat, but, um... Yeah, that would bother, <laughs> kind of bothers me, but it might not bother some people. All right, um, so that's basically it for the pros and cons for um, a ring binder. Let's move on to, to coil bound. So this is a coil bound planner. Oh, it has a sequin. And it is my Commit 30, which actually I bought. Um, I should show you really quick. I bought, but because I'm left-handed, which is one of the, the cons, I can't use the ring. So what I did is it comes with free... Um, free PDFs for you can you can print your own so I'll just show you the layout of the pages see so I just printed them out and sewed them together so I didn't have to have the coil so I just want to show you this is my main planner but I don't use this actual <laughs> version of it okay so um, the pros let's start with pros it folds back on itself I love that um, it also lays flat when it's open, either folded back or this way. It's completely flat. There's like no way I'm getting my hand up behind there. Uh, you can, um, um, oh sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> if you have a notebook, uh, like a planner that has really small rings, like the, the diameter is really small, you're gonna end up with a nice slim planner. This one's actually pretty chunky, but you can get ones that end up being really really thin. Um, maybe if you just have a couple months in it at a time. And um, the cons for this is that coils tend to bend and get warped really easily. You also have, this one's pretty good, but sometimes in the, you know, if you get like a cheap um, notebook or something, the end will stick up. Like, where's my end? You can kind of see it there, but it's in there really deep. But sometimes when you, um, Get the cheap ones, they'll snag on stuff. And if they get bent, then when you go to turn the pages, it's it's kind of sucks. Um, you cannot move pages around e easily. There is a little workaround. Of course, you can... Um, I, okay, I'm just going to tell you the second con, and then I'm going to do this demo together. You, can, um, you can't really remove or add pages. Now, I have a workaround, but of course, you can remove a page, you can rip them out, but you can't remove it and save it for later, unless... You want to be really... <laughs> if you have patience, you can go in and snip the, pa the page on every single hole all the way down and then bloop, 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 plop it out really carefully and then painstakingly pop them all back in. You can do that, but it's not easy. And if you do, yeah, so if you do rip out a page, you have to throw it away. Well, you cut it and use it for something else, but you can't put them back in the coils. And like I said before, the last con is, as a left lefty, you it's really annoying. You can't, it hurts. Or, like, you can start here, but if I'm going to work, write on, if I want to write in this box here, it's going to be really tough for me, because I'm left-handed. Okay, so that's, uh, that's coil. Now, the next one I want to talk to you about, talk to you about is um, disc planners. No, I don't actually have a disc bound planner, so I'm using my son's notebook. You can get these pretty easily here in Europe. And so what they are are these plastic discs, and 
uh, can you see that it's sort of got like a lip? So it's hollow down and has this raised lip all the way around. So that, I'll show you what the hole punch looks like. Let me take out, a, I'll take out his, um, his notes. I'll take out this one. So there, you can see how the, what the, and you can get punches like this. Um, there's Happy Planner and there's this Arc System from Staples. And I th I've heard that the Staples punch is um, a little bit sturdier. So if you do have the Happy Planner, you can always get the Staples punch if you want to. So pros for this. Um, let's see. It folds back on itself. It lays flat. You can, oops. I, oh, I didn't put that back in. Right. Sorry. Um, you can move pages around. It, you know, it's kind of, um, you have to plop them in each. So it's not as easy as the ring binder to do, but you see it wasn't that hard. It wasn't as hard as the coils would have been. I'll pop that back in. Um, you can not only change out the inserts, there's no inserts in this, but the ins inserts, the dashboards, and the dividers, but you can also change out the cover because that pops right off as well. So you can make your own cover, you can buy a cover, uh, yeah, and then it just pop the new one right back on. Same one we did with the paper. I like that noise. That makes a fun noise. Okay, so cons. Again, with lefties, this one, because the, they're not very they're not very big, like the Happy Planner ones are quite a bit larger, and so are the, um, the Staples ones. I think they come in different sizes, but like I said, I don't have one myself. So the bigger they are, the, the harder you're going to be able to get to the left-hand side of the right-hand page. Um, the discs can tend to be really bulky, so when you open your book like this, the discs stand up really high from your book. And these ones are sometimes like, I don't know if you can see on video so much, but so you can see right through. These aren't like the sturdiest um, things. You can't get metal ones, but these little plastic ones are kind of cheapo. All right, so that's coil. Let's move on to Traveler's Notebooks. Now these are some of mine. These are both cake dories. This is my current planner. This is what keeps me on my toes, keeps me organized. So what a traveler's notebook is, is just, um, this one's fabric, but you can get leather as well. What it is, is it has these elastics that go from this hole down to this hole, and then you take your notebooks, let me see where the middle is, and you just slide the notebooks into the elastic. And so that's my, and that's this is my main planner. Okay, um, so why I like this so much, like I said, is because I'm left-handed and I can write anywhere on the page without um, without anything bumping my hand or hurting. Uh, you have natural sections from the books. For example, I have this is my um, this is like my brain dump idea book. This one is my actual calendar planner, and this one is my goal tracker for the year. So I just have the three in there for now, but like at Christmas time, I had a Christmas one in there. And um, different, if I have different projects, I will add the, um, I will add the a book just so it has natural sections. And also, this is one thing I really like. These pages are A5. This is a regular computer paper. Well, actually, it's thicker, but um, it's computer paper size. It's um, it's A4, it's not 8.5 by 11 if you're in the in North America, but it's basically the same thing. So when I fold the pages in half, they're A5. Now, if I was to have an A5 um, planner, a ring-bound planner with A5 pages, you can see the pages are ba basically the same size. Um, let me lay this one beside it. Um, you can see the pages are pretty much the same size, but the size of the planner is a lot different. Like you can see it there, and if I lay it open, um, you can see that there's quite a lot of difference. So with the Traveler's Notebook, I can have the A5 size page without the big bulk of the ring, the rings. Oops, sorry. Um, and I'll show you, this is a personal size. I can show you here um, the difference in personal. And look at the size difference of the pages. The pages are, are I'll get you on that's white. The page size, <coughs> sorry, the page sizes are way different. Okay, let's go into the cons. So there's not, for me, there's not very many. Um, you can't move pages around. Of course, you can rip them out, wash them back in. But, yeah, it's not easy <laughs> to move pages around. And you can't, in the same way, you can't add and remove pages easily. So there you go. I hope you, um, I hope that sort of helped you decide what planner you want to buy.